You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Hey, Gina, wanna come join me? Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal, and he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, that much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe. We gotta go. What? What for? Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. So what the hell's going on? That was Henry on the phone. Carlo found out about the deal. Ah, shit. Does he know we was involved? I don't think so. Let's talk about it in the car. Where we headed? Lincoln Park. We meeting Henry there? Yeah. All right, so what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? Sounded okay. Carlo took his car to the tank. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found him. Yeah, but now the problem is, we don't even got enough to pay Bruno. Ah, shit. What the hell are we gonna do? Ah, uh, we'll figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah, Henry will know what to do. Henry's different these days. Guy's got a real... What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? Shit, that's Henry! What the fuck are they hitting him with? Get on me! Oi, my tongue! I do! I'm going in! I won't want to get on your bitch! Does something like this, Vito. Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? Who do you think? God damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? The money's gone too. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of Henry. Hey, 
Hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. All the ways to kill a guy. Yeah. Goddamn bull <laughs> enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. So I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah. And it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're and ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. So promise me you're not gonna go in guns blazing as usual? We gotta do this the smart way, right? Slow down, Vito. You're getting too close. This guy drives like a ch... I drive like a ch Fun. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry's or we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. and Sons only offers the very best, be it guns or ammo. CNR, keeping Empire Bay wide awake. Empire Central Radio. Just gone back. I got me.
doing? What's up your ass, man? Back me up, Vito. It's fucking Eat over! Now. Caucasian male carried a large firearm. Copy that. Got some nut job here shooting a gun. Suspect is about six feet tall, average size. Roger that. Who's there? It's me, Vito. Okay, come in. I got all the guns you'll ever need. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo.
Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Happy hunting, Vito. I never leave home without it. Here you go, Vito. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. An excellent weapon. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Happy hunting, Vito. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Whatever you're doing out there, it's good for business. Lord gentlemen, this place for members. This your fucking member. Damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. 
You see? Why didn't you spend the damn gun while you were Right down and help me waste these little fucks. You go first, Vito. You're a smaller target. Thanks. That is. Hey, you said we got to Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Thank you. 
Vito. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. You slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? <laughs> what the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What the what? fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Find your choice! Are you crazy? What you wanna do? Let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that! He wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. For a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Vito, come here. This should be the way out. Alright, we lost him. 
Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... That was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? Alright. About six feet tall, dark hair, black belt. You find nothing but cops. Police have been around the entire vicinity of the Red Dragon because of what witnesses are describing as guns and screaming from within. We've got no more details right now, but we'll more on this story as information trickles into the Slim and Sammy Stevens Show. This is Delta Radio. was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Toms. And if they think Carlos sent us, that'll mean war. We're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlos finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. 